Hey, hello everybody, my name is Blind Senpai, and welcome back to Star Citizen. The saber is in front of me yet again. Um, I'm going to be revisiting the best saber loadout, quote-unquote. So I have four panthers on here right now. I'm going to use this as the baseline again. It's more because I didn't really see too big of a difference with the M5A cannons. There might have been a little bit of differences here and there, but overall it was roughly the same. So today I will be checking out four Panther repeaters, which I have on there right now, and I'll be testing it against uh, four 11 series broadswords. So we're going to start with the baseline here, and I'm not going to stay in Vandal Swarm too long with this because I already did a video that showcased the four Panthers. So I'm just going to more just kind of refresh my memory of how they were and just quickly refresh your guys' memory. So I will fire up Vandal Swarm and we'll check these out. Alright, and here I am in Vandal Swarm. So we're just going to get a rough idea of how these do. Um, more just like I said, like a refresher than anything. So remember, super fast firing. Some great damage output. Definitely nothing wrong with using these as your go-to. They have decent range on them. Seems really easy to keep uh, the guns on the target. Uh, again, because there's four of them, they'll all sync up really well. So really, no issue. They seem fairly accurate. I would say. Uh, you could really pinpoint where on the enemy ship you want to shoot. They seem to, to hold that position really well. And when you can keep a lot of fire on your enemy, they will drop quickly. Like that. Alright, so that's just the baseline. Um, like I said, just very quick. Um, and I, you know, I'm actually gonna do this wave too, just so I can get the lead wave done with. Uh, I'm just gonna find Little King. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Alright, uh, just so you can see what it looks like against an elite unit, there's another refresher. So it's beating him up pretty good. And there he goes. So that was a fairly quick kill on an elite unit. Panthers are strong. And uh, I said the M5As, they were good. Just ran into him there. Um, they were good, but I didn't really notice too much big of a difference. I don't know if it's just because I was using two of them. But we'll see how these broadswords do. I'll go back to the hangar and switch them out. Okay, so I'm back in the hangar now. I'll run over to my saber. So, we're definitely going to see different play style. I know that for sure. Um, because they do handle a little bit differently than these panther repeaters do. Also, because I'm changing all four of them, we should notice a difference. So whether that's good or bad, we should notice a bigger difference than we did when we were testing the M5A um, the M5A laser cannons. So these are this is what the 11 series broadswords look like. Really beast looking guns. These are ballistic, so there will be ammo that I have to make sure I can serve. Um, I mean, you can see there's a beast there actually clipping through the wing right there. Just not something that you want to get hit by. That is for sure. See, his barrels are actually a lot longer than even the M5As were. 
Um, so this ladder, when I open this, it's going to clip the whole thing, pretty much. But that's okay. So now I have the 11 series broadswords mounted. I'm going to go take this into Vandal Swarm, and we'll compare it. Okay, and here we are in Vandal Swarm. I have the broadswords mounted. Vandal Swarm. Um, I will just let you guys know, if you are planning on testing this out yourself, there is a bug with ballistic weapons right now that if you take them off of a ship and then put them back on again, they will not have ammo, and there's no way to fix it. It's just a weird bug that's going on right now. Um, holy shit. I think I shot that guy like two or three times, and he died. We'll see. Yeah, I shot him four times, I think, total. And one was kind of far away. So these don't actually go green until right around 500 meters is when the, the pip goes green. You could definitely shoot them beforehand. So I think I only shot that guy three times. So that's insane. So I would say per shot, these are definitely, definitely a lot stronger. Um... There is, it seems like, shorter of a range. Test that going straight on here. Yeah, so there's definitely shorter range to them. But they are a lot stronger. So you can see there. That's... That's pretty insane. And it seems like the damage must drop off when uh, the pip is red, so... When you're in within 500 meters, and it goes... I mean, that was two shots there. He probably got shot a couple other times by some of my uh, wingmen, but... engines low. You know... Three shots, it seems like, this is roughly what it's taking. That's pretty crazy. Uh, here's the elite unit already. We're only two minutes into this. Alright, so I hit him three times already. Once was when the pip was red. Oh, missed him there. There we go. So four times when the pip was green, one time when it was red, and the elite unit is down. Um, I still have close to 400 in these. As you can see on the left side, I'm at 380, 380 roughly. Um, and I'm almost through this first elite wave. So these, uh, you're definitely not using a lot of ammo up, at least not in these earlier waves. Uh, later on when there's more targets and you're frantically flying around dodging shots, uh, you know, accuracy is going to be a lot more critical probably. But I don't see the ammo being an issue, at least in Arena Commander, where it gets replenished after every elite wave. But you can see these definitely are the hardest hitting weapon that I've seen so far. So I'll I'll do a few more waves here. I really want to see when I get under pressure a little bit more if these are still going to hold out or if I'm going to be just getting too close to my target and not being able to take them out in time. Uh, that the the loss in range when this goes green seems like it might be killer to it um, but when it's in green it's, it's obviously good even when it's just barely red it seems good so I would say if you're used to shooting or sorry used to not shooting until the pip is green uh, you'd have to change that you, you want to make sure you're looking at how far away your target is and it seems like right when they're about a thousand meters away, you can pretty accurately hit them still. Yeah, 
definitely right around a thousand meters. Even though the tip isn't green, isn't gonna be green for about 500 more meters. Um, should still be able to hit the target pretty damn hard and not have too big of an issue. Oh, he just crashed into me. I just lost my wing there. And one of the broadswords it looks like. So now we're just gonna run three, I guess, for now. Um, I'll just finish off this wave and then I might crash it and get the four back. Wow. I don't even know if I need to, to be honest. These three are doing just as well. Um, just for the sake of testing, I might actually just do one wave without four. So I'm just gonna have three on right now. And we'll see if there really is a loss to damage. Because I think they might be doing so much damage with four that I'm overkilling the target anyway. Oh, and I ran into him again. Try to restabilize here. There we go. Okay. So maybe it wasn't overkilling the target. It looks like it's taking about another shot. Um, but that means that the four is going to be like the perfect amount of damage. They take them out in about three shots. Which is still insane, because even though these aren't the quickest firing, um, it doesn't take too long to get three shots off. That's about a second, maybe two. Yeah, it's probably right around a, a second to get three shots off. So, really, you could even just dodge fire until you get up close to them, and then, you know, let three shots off quick. Probably take a little bit of practice to know right when you have to start shooting, but you could probably win a lot of joust with these with some good timing. Um, the elite wave number two is coming up, so I'm just gonna crash this and I'll get the four broadswords back. I have to say, these are some pretty good weapons. Um, I said the only problem right now is the ballistic problem that is going on. Where if you take off the gun and then put it back on, um, it's not going to work anymore. It's going to be broken. So that's really the only the only bug. But it, it kind of sucks if you're renting guns and you're just trying to test out a diff bunch of different stuff. So, just gotta keep that in mind. So I, I think I'll definitely keep these on my saber for a while here. But I'm definitely not gonna rush out and uh, buy four of them. So these, these ones are rented. I'm definitely not gonna go out and buy four of them because I don't want to keep them on my ship until, you know, the bug gets fixed. So, but I think I'll definitely keep these, these rented ones on there for a while. Until they, they run out, probably. So these, I really am enjoying these. Um, and th this might change a little bit too in PvP, where you're fighting a little bit more skilled pilots, actually, a lot more skilled pilots than just these NPCs. And, you know, then range really might matter. You know, if you can outrange them, that's a leg up. So that's, that's more damage that you can p potentially put out before they can even, you know, get close to touching you. So it might play a little different in PvP. I also don't really see too many joust in PvP. It's a lot of circling around each other, it seems like. So maybe it won't really be an issue. But, oh, just crashed again. And lost another broadsword. Uh, but really, that's all I have to say about these. Um, I really like these. They definitely are different than the Panthers. I don't know if I can really say that they're better per se. Uh, within their optimal range, they're definitely a lot better. But that optimal range is roughly a thousand meters closer than 
The Panther is optimal range. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely a good loadout and one that I'm gonna use for a while here because I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, and that's that's all I have to say about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the 11 series broadswords more than the Panthers. Uh, let me know now in the comments. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. And make sure you subscribe while you're here. Because I upload videos every single day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.